Hello, international coin collectors out there. We've got three nice coins to share with you here, and they're uh, all three of them are two shillings. One of them is dated 1953. The other one is dated 1956, and the third one is dated 1965. So the 1953 one is uh, is actually slightly different than the other two. Um, they have a slight different design to them. So the one on the left is the first one. Now this one was made in 1953, as I said at the beginning, and you can see by the 1953 date right there. So the metal content of this coin is copper nickel. Its weight is 11.3 grams. Its diameter is 28.5 millimeters. And there were 11.9 uh, million of these produced in 1953. There were also 40,000 proof coins produced and two matte proof uh, coins produced as well. So if you have one of those proof coins, I bet it's gonna be worth a lot of money. Now let me flip it over for you so you can see uh, the obverse of the coin. So we see uh, Queen Elizabeth II of Great Britain right there. Uh, the words translate to um, Elizabeth II by the grace of God, Queen of all Britons. So that's what the, uh, the words around the rim translate to. Now, the next coin right here is actually a slightly different um, than the other one. And I'll flip it over and you can see that. So this one right here is dated 1965. So this, uh, excuse me, this one is dated 1956. So the 1956, uh, in that year, there were 47 million of these produced. And then the coin to the right is the 1965. So in 1965, there were 48 million of these produced. So uh, it's kind of interesting that in 56 and in 65, they had almost the same amount of mintages. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed a quick peek into this. I'll flip it over. Um, so I'll summarize it here. Uh, on the left, we have the 1953. So you can see the lettering on it is a little bit different. Uh, it translates to, I'll get my big finger out of the way there. You can see uh, this says kind of like Regina Elizabeth. The second, this says Regina Elizabeth, and then there isn't a break between the second right there and right there. So that's the difference between the 1953 and the 1956. Slight difference there. And then this uh, pattern right here that starts uh, in 1954 and goes all the way to 1970. So these ones are the same. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you're into coin collecting, please do check out some of the other videos on this channel. Take care and have a great day, everyone.